So over the last year and, and a bit, we've been seeing an increase in arrivals in the Canary Islands. And as this route had been relatively quiet for more than 10 years, uh, of course, it became a, a topic of, of interest um, in the migration community. And so, I mean, essentially, you know, prior to 2020, when about 23,000 arrivals were recorded in the Canary Islands, you know, in, in 2019, there were about 2,700. The year before that, in, in 2018, there were about 1,300. So clearly, this is, you know, quite an increase. And although, um, although we can't get like exact nationality breakdowns, um, and there's also been some evolution um, of the nationalities represented on this route, like over the course of 2020, you know, we've seen that Malians and Senegalese and Ivorians and Guineans and other West African na nationalities have, have been significantly represented on this route. So as the MMC West Africa, you know, this has been a, a focus of interest for us. But we also really wanted to look at things more holistically um, from the migration decision through the journey itself, as well as the return experience and what happens after a migration attempt along this route. And we wanted to be able to bring migrants' perspectives to bear on this. And we're really fortunate to have interviews with 46 migrant respondents in Mali, Mauritania, Senegal, and the Canary Islands themselves. So basically, we wanted to try to understand the resurgence of migration along this route as a current phenomenon, but also rooted in wider West African migration dynamics.